So his first articulation that I saw in January of 1989, he said, this profound knowledge, I think is what the title he gave it then, consists of knowledge of variation, statistical theory, knowledge of distinction between common causes and special causes. Um, have any of you taken like SPC classes? What it says is, Walter Schuhart and subsequently Dr. Deming, um, Walter Schuhart created structures, st statistical control charts that create limits but basically separate the noise from the signals. Sort of say, if there's variation within these limits, you should not treat individual values as though they are from fundamentally different cause systems. That's a big problem we have today, by the way. You know, every variation is meaningful, we think, right? We treat every variation as though it's got meaning. Um, and, and Schuhart gave us rules to sort of say, here's where you can, can draw bands and say, if things are within these bands, you should, not, you should treat them as though they're from just chance results from the same system. Knowledge about losses from tampering. And that's, tampering relates to treating, basically treating common causes as special causes, usually. Random variation as though there's a specific reason for that data point, which is something we really commonly do. Um, knowledge about interaction of forces. Knowledge about operational definitions. There are lots of kinds of definitions in this world. Operational definitions are a very specific one that you need to do if, you're going to, if you've got something you want to observe and make a judgment and have the judgment in common, as opposed to like lexical definitions and other kinds of definitions you have. Um, and he said he would tell you, Dr. Deming would have told you that operational defini definitions are really important for doing business and having common understanding between suppliers and customers and things. Knowledge of psychology, knowledge of cooperation, its benefits, that was the first list. And the second list, three months later, two months later, was much longer. So this is the first half of the list. We'll come back and look at some of the individual things. But there are lots of bullets. You know, it, was, it sort of was evolving very rapidly. In his last book, The New Economics, which was published in 1993, um, he had articulated it as saying this. A system of profound knowledge, he said, the layout of profound knowledge appears here in four parts, all related to each other. Appreciation for a system, knowledge about variation, theory of knowledge, and psychology. Dr. Deming said, the system of profound knowledge provides a lens. <coughs> excuse, excuse me. It provides a new map of theory by which to understand and optimize the organizations that we work in, and thus to make a contribution of the whole, to the whole country. The system of profound knowledge is, in fancy terms, it's meta-knowledge. It's not specific knowledge. It's not knowledge of answers. Rather, it's knowledge which leads to questions. It causes you to ask different questions, and then you can use subject matter knowledge to come up with your answers.